Moving on in Android 11, the system alert window or SAW has changed a bit. Many of you might be aware there's a lot of issues associated with the system alert window or these overlay attacks or cloak and dagger or a lot of other issues that are kind of associated with how that can be used to you know, make interesting Android malware that can really kind of do some interesting overlay attacks. Again, look up cloak and dagger if you're interested. It's really an interesting paper around that issue. And basically what Android 11 has done, it's really kind of changed how applications can access that overlay permission or access overlay. Uh, over the years, that has been changed a bit, but now it's really been really structured down to only a few types of apps can really access system overlay for the system. So like a roll call screening app where you know maybe you have an application that has a little bubble while you're calling and it's on your screen and you want to see that, or media projection where you're displaying what's on your screen. Those are applications that might access those types of permissions to use that. If you have an application that doesn't do those types of functionalities and is accessing those APIs or those permissions, maybe they shouldn't. But again, there's another way that that might be accessed. There's another permission called the Access Manage Overlay permission. And really, if your application does need to access you know, overlay permissions and actually do that during runtime in different ways, what's going to happen now is basically what happened in Android 6, where it used to be this way before Android 6, and then they changed it and they made it a little bit easier. But now basically, you go in your application, if that application needs to create overlays from the background or during processes that aren't really uh, their own, like over other apps that aren't their own or connected to them in some way, they have to access this action management permission that only will take them to a system setting to access that. So it's kind of a bigger permission. It's not one that's like, oh, hit okay or no or one time. No, this is one where they have to actually go into settings and set it. It's good and bad. We'll see how it goes. Be aware if you see this permission in an application, it might mean that application's a bit overprivileged. And you really have to think to yourself, why does this application need this permission? Why does it need that? Even if it is doing media projection, it really doesn't need that because it should be using the media projection API or the roll call screening APIs to actually perform those actions. So be aware that permission just might be extraneous to most applications. Be aware of that. 